January 25, what's a really good finesse bait for wintertime fishing? Good morning, guys and girls. January 25, on the Catch a Better Life channel, reading from the Catch a Better Life book, which is a daily devotional book that I've written. It's got a scripture for every single day of the year. It's got a devotional built around fishing and a fishing tip. And I guarantee you, if you get involved in this channel, Catch a Better Life on YouTube, if you'll get on that channel, subscribe to that channel, your life will be better. Your life will be better. God will see to that. Uh, you, you just every day had just getting one scripture, one word of God. You should be reading the Bible quite a little bit every day, but just one scripture. God will bless you for that. Your life will become better. It's got a fishing tip for every day. You're going to become a better fisherman. Today, we're looking at the back of the Bible, Revelation 2015. This verse to me is pretty scary, to be honest with you. Anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Pretty easy to interpret that. Uh, if your name's not in the book of life, you're going to go to hell. You're going to be cast into hell. And uh, that's scary. That's scary. And if you're not saved, it can really be scary. See what I wrote about that. The year 2020 was the first year in 55 years that I didn't fish national bass tournaments. Amazingly, I didn't miss the tournaments that much. Sometimes I didn't even know. In fact, most of the times I didn't even know one was going on. But when I did know what was going on, I'd always look at the list of standings on my on my phone and see how my buddies were doing. See how my buddies were doing. There's a lot of people fishing national bass tournaments now that I've never met, but a lot of my buddies are still fishing national bass tournaments. I always check see how they're doing. I look at that I look at that list, that standings. Without a doubt, the most important list we'll ever be on is the list of names that's written in the Book of Life. My name's in that book. My name's in that book. We will all stand before an almighty God, and we will be judged by our works, what we do. And we need not win by being the best Christian ever. We don't even have to be near the top, as a matter of fact, to win. We just have to be in the book. We gotta be on that list. We gotta be on that list. If you're looking at uh, national fishing tournaments, you gotta be, in order to win money, you gotta be up usually at about the top half of that list. Um, you don't have to be at the top of the list. You have to be at the top half. Your name's just got to be in that book. Your name's got to be in that book. Our names. This is the good part of this. This is the part that takes the scary away. Our names are placed in that book of life. The moment, the instant, the second we are saved and make Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. If you haven't asked Jesus to come into your heart and save you, if you haven't repented of your sins, ask Jesus to forgive you of those sins. If you haven't made him Lord of your life, your name's not in that book. But if you have, that verse is not scary at all. This verse should be really, really scary to anyone that hasn't asked Jesus to come into their life and be their Lord and Savior. Here's a tip for today. Finesse type bait that's good in the wintertime, lightweight shaky head. Sure, a lightweight shaky head jig with a small worms work really really good in the winter time uh we used to never call those shaky heads we started using those when i was a teenager we just call them a jig and worm and we started using little bitty bitty small ones and i could tell you a story about that i probably told the story before but uh, the, but those little jig and worms those little small tiny ones became what they call a, a, a shaky head and then somebody else uh, started making one a little bit different shape of the shaky head and started calling it a ned rig uh which again still just a small jig and worm but those baits work really, really well during the winter time, particularly if you have a lake that's got smallmouth bass or spotted bass. Alabama spotted bass, Kentucky spotted bass, Oklahoma spotted bass, whatever you want to call them. But many people call them Kentucky bass. That's the bass that's got teeth on his tongue. Great way to identify them. Guys and girls, go out and have you a great one today. Cold out here. I got to get inside. Remember, I sure do love you.